I need to get back here, everyone. <clears throat> one Heaven Monarchy Therapies and one Amadi Healing. Um, welcome to the little demo this evening. Thank you for coming, for those of you who have joined me. So tonight we're going to be doing a little demo on the feet. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to um, do a karakia. And then we'll go into just a quick little discussion on some of the feedback that I had from last night's demo. So, me uh, noi tātou. Whakataka te hau ki te ure, whakataka te hau ki te tonga, ki a mā kina ki ngā hiuta, ki a mā tara tara ki tai, e hi aki ana te atākura, e ti o, he huka, he hauhu, ti hei mauri ora. So welcome everyone, um, thank you for coming and for all of those who were here watching the live feed last night, thank you for joining me. Um, I have to say I was really, really nervous leading up to the live feed last night. Nervous because um, I thought about it this morning while I was doing the dishes, my least favourite job, <clears throat> and I realised the reason I was really, really nervous, because I was. <clears throat> almost didn't do it was because I, I was concerned about um, people what people might think judgment and so excuse me but I realized today when I was thinking about it what was I afraid of I realized it was people who um, not not people I look up to but people who are, are quite steeped in, in te ao Māori, tikanga Māori, people who I put up here on a pedestal, not my kaiako, because I have a lot of respect for them and I have a, a really good relationship with them, just people that I hold up here, afraid of what, you know, of judgment, I guess. Who does this person think they are? Who does she think she is? Um, she doesn't know a lot. Those were my thoughts, but I realised today on reflection, um, it's actually not those people that matter, the people that matter are the ones who are wanting to learn, and that's the audience that I'm um, targeting. So I think as soon as I realized that today, the fear just went, so I couldn't wait to come on come online tonight. Yeah, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Um, now today I had a question, um, someone asked me about the energy, <clears throat> so last night when I was showing you, demonstrating, having the feet, feet to feet, one of the um, wahine asked, or what's her name, someone asked, do we hold until the energy settles? Now I could have said yes, yes that's ideal, but there are times when, um, when I've moved ahead of, I've moved hmm, before the energy settled. But what I've done is, I've done it with the intention knowing, okay, I've done that, I've made a start, I'm going to move on, and I'm going to leave the rest for all of those who have come with me, and I'm talking about tipuna, those in Te Awairua, to complete the work for me, so to carry me through. If that makes sense, if you have any questions about that, um, excuse me, I'll just refresh, because, <sighs> yeah. If you have any thoughts about that, let me know. So yes, ideally wait till you can feel the energy settling, until everything's calm. If there's lots of energy going on, wait till it's calmer. If the, if the energy is really low and there's not a lot of activity, wait till the energy, the, the modi um, rises is, and feels like it's at a good level. Um, but there are times when you have to move through quickly and so at those times, I'll carry on, I'll move forward onto the next step and just ask, just ask quietly in my head for my tipuna or theirs to carry us through, to carry on with the work. So this is what I was talking about last night when we're working in unison, when all, when um, the client comes with their tipuna, I have mine working with me, we come together, introduce ourselves, and then we, we work together Last night I said we work together for the benefit of the client, but actually it's for the benefit of all. 
for the client, for me as the um, kaimirimiri, but also for our tipuna because when we're healing the one, we're healing others in both um, directions. So we're healing the present, we're healing the past, and we're healing the future. So, um, you know, when, when you're working that way, you can work, you can do things that just don't make sense, but they make so, so much sense. Yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you, and thank you for asking the question. One other thing I wanted to encourage, I really, really want to encourage, is um, for you to share. So what you've learned tonight, I want you to, I really want you to go away. The sooner you do it, the more, the more it will be imprinted in your memory. Uh, the, the, yeah. So go away and practice as soon as possible, and keep practicing. The more you do it, the more comfortable and you'll, you'll, um, you'll be with the work. Now what I'm doing. Um, my my model, <laughs> my volunteer has asked not to be named. <laughs> so I'll respect that and just say, um, I've got gloves on, but that's just to demonstrate to you that the work can be done with gloves on and it doesn't make a difference to what the client is feeling because the energy is still working. So we're going to the feet. So when you're working with the feet, I tend to look for things um, happening in the feet because these feet are young and they don't have a lot uh, going on. Um, there's not too much to look for, but you look for differences in colour. So if their feet are blue, there's not a lot of circulation happening in there. So you really need to get the mass massage through. Hmm. Excuse me, just got a phone call. I'll try and shut it down sorry so when you're working for the, with the feet look for look at what color it is for those who have blue feet get the circulation going by massaging um, just keep working until you see a little bit more pink if the yellow um, yellow is usually related to the liver and the kidneys there's some work that needs to be done there a lot more fluids if they've got dry heels um, I was, I've been told that when, when the heels are dry and cracked, there's probably a lot of sugar and yeast in the diet, so, so breathe. Maybe wine, <laughs> sugar, chocolate, sweets, um, soft drinks, so um, something like that. With people who have really nice soft feet, they could walk around with no shoes at all. People who have soft feet, when you look at their personalities, you're usually people who really know how to look after themselves and they're not afraid to do things for themselves. So so for those of you with the with the tough heels like mine, um, yeah. Take a bit more time looking after yourselves. So those are just a few tips with the feet. When there's um a bit of tinea, yeah, that's where the gloves really, really matter. But these are young feet and they don't have any issues. So, here we go. We've got the feet. Now, at Massage College, I was taught always work towards the heart. When you're massaging, always stroke towards the heart. Now, I sat down with a Māori healer one day. I can't remember his name. He's an older person. I believe he may still be around. But he talked about energy. Now, when you're working with energy, you want to work it towards the closest exit point, which is the feet. So we're working towards, when you're working with energy, work towards the closest exit part, point. When you're working with the cardiovascular system, lymphatic system and the muscles, work towards the heart. Um, yeah, just a little tip there. So one of the first things I do with the feet is just kind of rest the feet on your hand and... Um, you want to put enough pressure just to engage the tissues so you're not pressing hard just enough to engage so that when you're pulling they can feel a little bit of pressure as you're as you're doing that you're not using any force excuse me Wait a minute refresh OK, 
Okay. So you just hold, put enough pressure to engage the muscles and then pull. We're pulling away. Yep, and then pull. Go back. Now you want to keep your hands as flat on the surface as possible. You're wanting to get good coverage. Whatever area of the body you're working on, nice coverage. Oh, kia ora, Milita. Thank you. I can't see any of the other comments, so <clears throat> let me just have a quick look. Oh. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm just going to scroll through quickly. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, cool. All right. So engage, touch, engage. Commence. <laughs> That's it. Just a nice straight. <clears throat> so I'm going to ask, just, just while I'm doing this, what do you feel happening? What does it feel like? Weird. Like you're pulling. Like I'm pulling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Simple as that. Just, just, you're using their weight, the weight of their feet, so while they're relaxed. You can see that? It's pretty relaxed. And then pull. Now if I'm um, just working with one hand, you always support the feet. Always support the, the area of the body that you're working on. So I'm I'm just supporting his feet in this hand here and I'm rubbing rubbing up and pulling down so I'm pushing everything towards the heart and pulling down nice long strokes you want nice good coverage coverage is really really important so many people I watch um, are shortchanging their clients don't rip them off make sure they have good coverage um, Babies really love this. Working on babies. Now the foot has so many bones. Uh, how do I do this? I'm going to pick the phone up. <clears throat> Hopefully nothing will happen. <laughs> Hopefully we don't go offline. I'm just going to show you something. <sighs> okay, let's see if you can see the foot. Okay. There's only two of us in the house and one of them's a model. So, what I'm going to do, see in between the toes, I'm going to work on that area there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure and underneath, <laughs> again I'm supporting the foot. I'm using the weight of the foot to work against the thumb and I'm just going to open it up. Oops, sorry. You see that? Just going to open it up. Um... And then work in between the feet. What we're doing is just stretching them out. They don't get stretched enough. So I'm opening up the joints um, in between the bones, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put the phone back so I can carry on. <sighs> Sorry, this took a little while to set up. Now I've got to get back to it. Um, right, hopefully you can see. Sorry. So I'm kind of just um, fanning out, that's what I'm doing, I'm fanning out the feet and the bones to open them up, let some oxygen and fresh blood get into the, into the, into the foot and I'm pressing, I'm pressing down firmly with my thumb and I'm opening up with my fingers underneath, pressing down with the thumb, sorry you can't see it, down with the thumb and opening it up with the fingers at the same time. So I'm going like this, like that. If, if there's anyone there watching who's actually working on someone right now, um, yeah, I really encourage you guys to do that. Press open, open up. So we're working in between each of each of the feet, I guess. I guess just like along here, along along those joints. Open them up. All right. And the other thing I do is, how do we do this? So I'll use my hand as an example. I just press my thumb and then work along like that. All the way up the feet. The feet, um, when I can't work on specific areas of the body, I'll go and work on the feet because the feet, hmm, they have the, 
the different areas of the feet relate to the body and I've, and I've broken it down to its most simplest form. So if you look at the feet, um, the toes relate to anything above the neck, between the bottom of the toe. Can you, let me get this, sorry. All right, let's see if we can do this. So this part of the foot relates to the chest area. Anything going on in the chest, so if you've got um, trouble with the lungs, that area, just massage away, press in, break down all the uh, crystals in the, that area of the body, get the fluids moving and flowing freely. Because ultimately what we do in our mahi is we're clearing, clearing, clearing all the blockages so that all the fluids in the body are flowing freely. So this area here relates to the chest, anything in the chest. This area here where the instep is, relates to um, the torso, so the abdomen, anything that has all the digestive, the digestive area, all of that, whatever's going on in the abdomen relates there, so get in there if you're having trouble and just press, do it nicely or nice strokes. Okay, and the, and the heel, relates to any everything around the hips so the yeah pelvic region the hips yeah so that's the foot <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick little massage with oil so two little tips okay if you do as much mini midi as I do for the wahine who wear nice loose clothing you've probably gone through a lot of clothing because you've got oil on them that's why I started wearing an apron to protect my clothes so I don't have to go through so many. The gloves is the other thing. Always have a good supply of gloves. So I'm just going to do a quick show and tell. And then you can ask the questions if you want. Otherwise, I'm going to sign off. So I'm just rubbing it in. Now it's really important when you're doing the mahi. It doesn't matter who you're working with. It's really important for your, for your, um, to be mindful of where your thoughts are at. Mm -hmm. If you just had an argument with your husband and you're working on someone and you're still angry with your husband, they're going to feel it through your hands. They will feel it. So I'm just using my thumb to slide up and down that spatial area in between the toes and then moving down to the next lot. Just sliding up and down. He's gone to sleep because he's bored, so... He won't give much feedback, <laughs> but he's not complaining. And I'll use both my th my thumbs, and I'm doing it like this, just sliding up and down. And you're using the fingers underneath to support and to uh, give a little bit of resistance against your thumbs. Sorry, you can't see. Good coverage. Coverage, coverage, coverage. Don't miss any area out. See this area here? The blade of the foot. I just use my thumb to come in with the pressure. I like doing it on myself and my clients really like it. It's a really unusual area. But it gives them a lot of relief. You're just pressing in. And do the same along the inside of the foot. But I won't because you can't see it. And then just um, get your finger in between the toes, if you can. Don't force it if there's, if there's too much resistance, like some of the elderly, their feet, their toes won't have much movement, so don't try and force it, because you'll cause some pain. So just get in between the toes, give them a little bit of a squeeze, move the fluids through. That helps to clear all the fluids in the head, in the nasal passage, and, and the ears. So I'm just squeezing the toe and moving to the end of the toe and then pulling. It's like a firm, gentle pressure. There you go, and then move to the... Don't be afraid to work along the side if you can. If their feet are flexible enough, if they don't have much movement, don't force it. 
go with it. Alrighty. So there we go, little demo. Okay. So I really, really encourage you to go away and do that. Um, if you have any questions or any thoughts you want to share, just post up on this on this video because um, I'll be back checking it all the time um, as I'm trying to improve on my page and work on building the group. If you have any thoughts, um, yeah, share them. If you want to, I'd love to see photos of you doing doing um, the work. So, you know, feet to feet, take a photo. Massaging the feet, take a photo. Let me know how they feel. Let me know how you feel. And, um, yeah, I look forward to sharing more. And because we just started yesterday, I'm going to come online tomorrow to do um, some more demo. My son wanted me to do some work with the Darko, but um, that'll be another day. But there is something else I'd like to show you on the feet that you can do with most people. Not all people, but most people. Yeah, so. There we go. Midi midi the feet. Even something as simple as this. Putting a lot of pressure, just pulling, pulling. They'll enjoy it. You'll get a few groans and you might get, ah, one more, yeah. One more. Get the heel of the palm, come in against the heel of the foot, grab your fingers and squeeze. Squeeze. They love that. Squeeze. Again, this is a hip area, but it gives a lot of relief. The heel takes a hammering. So just squeeze yeah, and hold if you can. And then I like to just pull pull on the joint, like pull the foot away from the, the leg a little, just a little bit, just to open up, open up the ankle. There we go. A little bit longer than five minutes, but um yeah. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to finish there. Thank you all for joining me. Again, share your photos, share your thoughts, ask your questions. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, I've just got to read this question. Okay, I'm going to share this just not... oh. Yeah, that's right, Tania. No, it doesn't. <laughs> cool. All right, thank you for joining me. Um, the video will be up. Share it on the page so you can come back and watch it again and again. Yeah, so I'll leave it at that. Um, be kind, be gentle. Have courage. Moody order.